Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can organize all of the roadmap and message centers that are showing in a admin center and organize them in a planner. So uh, it's quite a new feature, uh, but so let's see how we do it. We'll go to the nine dots and go to admin. From the admin, just a second, we'll look at all, we'll click on health, and we'll go to message center. Uh, now, here you can see all of the message centers and uh, arranged according to service. So if you want to filter only on one service, for instance, SharePoint, then we can scroll and look for only SharePoint, SharePoint Online. And here you can see only SharePoint. By the way, you see some, some services affect too. Uh, you can also um, filter by uh, red or unread, or you can uh, filter by <coughs> type. If it's a new feature, if it's a feature update, if it's an admin impact, a major update, so you can choose all of the, so le let's look on SharePoint Online new features, and here we see all kinds of things. Um, but actually, um, <coughs> as I said, there's a way that you can integrate all of these messages to a planner. So here we have planner sync. So we can, uh, we see here a description, we can set up the sync. And here actually we need to choose a plan. So we can choose from the existing plan Um, so we, we can choose one for now or we can uh, prepare it uh, before. Let's take the HR one. Now we can choose a bucket. <coughs> we can choose from existing buckets or we can create a new bucket. So let's call this uh, bucket that we'll call it unassigned. Not yet. Signed. and we will click next now we can choose if to get all of the updates or only major updates and we can also uh, choose if to include messages that are um, planned or stay informed and we can choose also the services so for instance I don't want to get all of these things I want only to get uh, specifically Let's say I want to get only I want forms. No, I don't want the Intunes. I want Teams. Power Automate, also not. So let's just choose a specific ones. OneDrive Planner. So I will choose only specific ones because I don't want to. Um, see too much. Okay, I'll click next. <coughs> and then I have here uh, uh, what to do. I can import uh, all messages in the past uh, seven days, 14 days, 21 days or 28. And I can choose nothing if I'm uh, changing something. So let's take the, let's say the seven last days and I'll click next. Here I need to check that everything's okay. So the plan is HR. It will go to this bucket and I can finish. Uh, I will get another screen. Um, how often, when do I want to start to sync? And how, uh, when, when to repeat it? Once a day, every couple of days. So let's do it uh, like this. I can also go and uh, edit the Power Automate uh, thing. So for now, I can click Done. Okay, so uh, I see here it's planned for this date. Uh, actually, I can come here 
and change it. I can stop the syncing. Or I can click here, sync now. Sync now will actually bring all of the data. Um, so we can now go to the planner and you see everything has gone to not yet assigned. Now we can arrange uh, the planner in uh, different ways. Uh, for instance, we can have not yet assigned um, and the next one would be uh, assigned and we could have one um, um, GA so you see I can uh, set it and once once I'm here I can enter and I can assign it to one of the people in the team I can also tag it to something and uh, I can then uh, assign it and if it's ready, I can uh, set it in this way. Another way of, of setting it up can be also by product. So we actually we can have buckets, which will be one will be SharePoint. Next one will be OneDrive. And this one will be Teams. And then we can actually say uh, that Microsoft Teams will go To teams and um, Viva is not here let's let's see if I can remove this bucket don't need it uh, but uh, as you can see I can set it uh, either by uh, statuses or by uh, application and uh, as we saw, we, we can schedule it or stop stop the information. Uh, as you see, this, uh, this is a way to split the, the work. Um, there's quite a lot, so uh, you need to choose which applications you want. Now, let's say we want now, once we have this, then we can see actually uh, the split between the buckets and the priority and the status and we if we set also a due date for each task then actually uh, we can see it in the calendar so this one is due for this and this is due for that and now if we look in the schedule we will see uh, when is the due date for each thing uh, we of course can also uh, export it to Excel and then we will see how it is let's open it see just a second so an Excel is opening and here we see all of the task names and uh, the information so this is what I wanted to show you in in this case I will just uh, stop the syncing so I will go to here and click the sync and I will uh, stop it and after I stop it I can set set again uh, the scheduling as I want so thank you very much